Uh, Nick, what are you doing, brother? <laughs> oh, I was just about to say, at this point, R. Kelly is actually classical music, so that's... Uh, oh, yeah. Uh-huh. <laughs> that's how we calm down. It's like, like listening more to, to, mission. <laughs> to, like, Tin Pan Alley stuff. Is, uh, that's what R. Kelly is. Oh, yeah. oh my baby, oh, my baby. <laughs> so, so, I, 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 yeah, I want to make sure that I have the way out of the house correct, because I'm sort of kind uh, of rubber in my head here. Uh, blind, blind. You're downstairs. A, there, there is a master bedroom. Yeah. There is a bedroom for both of the girls, and mm-hmm. then there's a bedroom for the boy. Yeah. Upstairs, right? Correct. Mm-hmm. And then downstairs, downstairs there is uh, a living area, um, a family room, and a kitchen. Uh, eatery. eatery. Yes. Uh, so, yeah, there's a kitchen, a dining room, uh, sort of a family room, and, like, a living room area. And then there's a foyer with okay. a staircase and a bathroom underneath the staircase. Harry Potter. Okay. And then the, the secret door has been opened by uh, Gidget, mm-hmm. and then we went down into the, into the oh, Sasquatch layer, and there was nothing there but poop. Correct. Poop, a table leg, Skin. and uh, 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 <laughs> bones and fur. And stink. And yeah, yeah. Nick, okay. I opened the door. I need credit. I had a bad day. <laughs> well, um, team, I'm I'm wondering I'm wondering if uh, he keeps the if, if he keeps the recipe on him at all times, and yeah, we might need to actually waylay uh, George. You know, even if he doesn't, if he comes home and finds this place ransacked, the first place he's gonna go check is gonna be where the recipe is, probably. Oh. Maybe we that's, could hide. That's an point. Um, we could, but we still what have What I'm thinking is maybe, maybe if uh, if the two of you in the uh, jumpsuits meet him there, as if you were uh, still installing the thing, and we can represent that maybe his wife was the one who ordered it. Okay. I don't know. She and, and he, then, uh, won't he wonder then, where uh, his whole family? Is? We could move his car and then put his family in the squatch pit. Oh. <laughs> Well, that too. Okay, hold on. We I have should, a question about that because will putting the family I mean, in the stank pit I, wake them up the same as smelling salts? I, I, I think it depends on whether we want to represent whether we are uh, legit lure them in or um, just let them in. Because what we might want to do is put the put the girls up in their room, put the wife in the bedroom, no. put the boy back in his room. That's too and much. Then when he comes in, we can say everyone's taking a nap. No, that, no. I think that's <laughs> too much. That's too much because anyone could wake up at any point, and we need them all there because we need leverage. He's uh-huh. going to be suspicious uh-huh. no matter what because his wife yeah. is very suspicious I, and I, very I, flighty. So I think we need to just be real up front and get it from him and use the family's leverage. And then in case anyone does wake up, let me just smack him <laughs> so I go back to sleep. That's old school. So yeah, we could just use them. Uh, you could just gag them too. I'm just putting that out there. If they wake so up, I mean, they're all in the same leverage. room right now. Like this, you, you yeah. can't exit this room, right? This this right. TV family room area. There's the garage. Uh, you can, yeah, go to the garage. You can go to the garage. Door, okay. Yeah. We could leave like a couple of us in the house Sasquatch and just wait for him to come and uh-huh. and see where he goes when he gets here. Well, do you want to clean everything up so he doesn't suspect when he comes in, except that no one's uh, answering his his calls? I kind of thinking like, wouldn't it be better if he suspected? Because then he would go where it is. He would go look yeah, for it. Yeah, I think so. Or, We're running out of time. Or he might get, or, or he might get right back in his car and go uh, drive down to the security office. Or he might call the security office immediately as soon as something's wrong. Well, you're outside with the okay. bike, right? You could catch him if he tries to get out. And we could scramble phone calls with Grabzy. Uh, if Gravity can take care of that, I mean, we, we might want to lure him inside where we can kind of control the situation a little bit better. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, if it's in here, he'll probably come in. If not, he'll probably leave, and then you could catch him. Does that does that seem like, does that make sense to everybody? Like, is, am I missing something? I mean, honestly, if he does, um, I can I'm, I'm not, literally not project into the truck and start driving. Says you can catch him. Is he talking to me? Oh, yeah. You're, you're outside the perimeter, right? No. On the bike? No, he's oh, no, you're inside. He's in That's the right. We were doing with the no, Sasquatch. Right Grabs right. the outside in the van. Grabs, he can't do it. <laughs> but. Uh, <laughs> sorry, well, you're just talking about me? What but if, if we, we needed immediate driving, I can just project into the truck. Yeah, you can. That's and true. just, like, just literally, like, well, we now I'm driving. Right. Your body stays here, though. Well, yeah, so you guys take care of that, for sure. Help a, help a person out. Well, but. It's, it's, 
<laughs> it's possible if if you want me to go into uh, kind of an astral overwatch, I can see when he comes in. Um, if you want to station me out by the van, then I can probably disable his vehicle before he can flee. Um, so and then meet you back inside once, uh, and, and we can try and control the situation from there. True. Right. Yeah, that makes sense. All right. Uh, yeah, this conversation takes, we'll, we'll say this takes about 10 minutes um, just to kind of push things along here. Mm -hmm. So it's 5.50 now. Fair enough. Anything um, in the closet? Yeah. Anything okay, so, what, so what's, what's the plan then? What are we doing? Should, should I move <gasps> this truck back so that it doesn't look as suspicious in front of the house? Except it's right in front of the truck. I won't leave it there. I mean, like, literally it, it, move it away from the house. You, so can, that park it, it, you can park it legally. Yeah, that's I mean, what I mean. It's, it's kind of a big truck, and they have a sort of a smallish driveway, so it's yeah. not going to fit. But there's like a cul-de-sac yeah. over yeah. here, right? Uh, so I could be like, this is just parked in the cul-de-sac. Mm -hmm. Except we don't want to get trapped. That's why we brought it back out, because we were originally out there. And yeah. we didn't want to get trapped in the cul-de-sac. Yeah, but if I if it's wheeled around, then he can, you know, I can just... Unless they block it off, that's what... That was creepy as hell. Dun, dun. What was that? <laughs> Stuff's falling off the walls around here. <laughs> <laughs> All right. we, we can do that. I just because if we're okay, so hold on, just to make sure. So if I have this so that it's angled to where we can take off quickly if we need to. Okay. Um, Moonbiter is going to be out front with the truck to disable his vehicle if he does come home. Otherwise, we're trying to pretend like the front of the house is normal so that he comes inside right, right? Sees some stuff mm -hmm. and then we're ah, so exactly. that hopefully he's inside before he discovers that anything is wrong yes yeah so so moon, moon, moon is probably actually inside the truck um because i'll want something around me while i'm in astral overwatch and then if you lure him in and he tries to run out to his vehicle i can disable the vehicle okay great Okay. Uh, do we need to move the family? Because that's going to be pretty distracting for him. He just can't see them right away. Uh, yeah, that's true. I guess I if he comes in, well, he, they this is in the be, garage. So. May, maybe they, they shouldn't be in the rooms that he's going to see in the first three seconds when he walks in. Right. Well, yeah, so that's an entrance. He may immediately come in there, or he might go here. Yeah. Anyway, maybe we should tip some stuff over in the foyer so that he gets the hint. <laughs> just cover them with blankets. <laughs> like, pretend like we were inside. <laughs> just one big blanket over all of them. <laughs> uh, be, because I didn't quite hear, did you guys actually beat on the boy? Did we wet him? I just slapped him. She backhanded the child. So, Spare the rods, spoil okay, the child, uh, boy. It was has, all. Has he, has he actually, Tyler, has he actually like taken some kind of damage? No, it was stun just damage. Done. Okay, just on damage. Great. Yeah. Yeah. So right. no, nobody should be. You're good. Just, just right. concussions. It's fine. Concussions heal. Everybody gets one. Oh yeah. I've had a couple. Yeah, they're great. No. <laughs> they're good for it's you. They make your brain stronger. <laughs> Is that true? No. That's true. A lot of people. <laughs> no. like awesome. Wait. The concussion talking. Might um, be. <laughs> okay, cool. So you stage uh, the front area to look like it is been ransacked a little bit. At least somebody's been through here. Right. Uh, Hopefully he doesn't think it's just the damn sas Sasquatch. It's like, oh, I knocked <laughs> over my vase again. Right. Harry! So, Ketu, where are you going to be stationed? Sorry, I thought about the standing by the nest. It's gross. Um, the, you, guys, you guys close the uh, uh, Sasquatch place, right? Okay, yeah. Um, so we, we have two possible entrance uh, possibilities for him. Because mm -hmm. I mean, her car is in the garage already, already so I assume that he would not be coming through there. And he never goes in there anyway, right? Doesn't look like anybody ever goes the in the garage. Pool. That's true. Okay. He might walk through there. Yeah. Maybe. There's um, trash bins out there, too. So it's the recycling. They're very conscientious people. But still, okay. even if it, he goes in through the garage, he still is going to be blocked here from leaving. Like, he'll still be in, yeah, so technically, inside the structure. what I'm worried about. Oh, okay. I'm worried about him. It makes a difference. If he comes in here, he sees all this immediately. Yeah, and he, won't, he won't run to... So anyway... Oh, oh I see what you... Okay, yeah. I see what you're saying. The whole point is we have two possibilities. So... Um, gotcha. If, if, yeah. Gadget, if, if he pulls into the garage, can you back the truck in he, uh, behind it? It's not a possibility. There's already a car in the garage. All right. It's one car garage, right? Yeah. Okay. Um, 
So where are you gonna be? Ah. Yep. Sorry. Um, where am I? Oh yeah. <laughs> You're standing on top of the, the <laughs> fireplace for some well, reason. Well, we didn't have a, oh, a no, <laughs> Sasquatch fly a layer. Um, I know. <laughs> what have I? <laughs> do you guys want to do any any final searching or? I was a closet. Okay. Uh, can I? Yeah. Can I just, what if I lay down like at, with one of the bodies, or, like oh, with all the bodies? You're gonna spoon one of the the, the little girls. No, just that's like, oh. very. No, it's it's cute. Appropriate. I know. Yeah, it's a little inappropriate. So if it, um, <laughs> that way, so you just not. This is, it'll just yeah. be. It's just like the so family he, that you never had come. because you chose the life of a loner. <laughs> That's it's not, like, sometimes that, you this think is not the direction I'm going <laughs> for. In your darkest hours, maybe I could have had a life like this. <laughs> Sorry. They're all passed out together. This is not, no. I know, but it's like a family camp out in the living room. <laughs> you know, you get the board games out. Oh, let's like just, guys, on. let's I would just build know. a pillow fort around them to hide them. Pillow fort, right? You were capturing that lost childhood that yeah. you had. I have a feeling we'll hide them, them in the, inside the pillow fort. No. <laughs> I have a feeling by the reactions of all the family and the wife, this man's probably not a gentleman. So I doubt that this family. That's builds. right. You did have that suspicion last time. I doubt that they build pillow forts, but I would love to build one anyway. <laughs> um, <laughs> no, my idea was is I'm just pass out, so he doesn't suspect me. Okay. Um, but I'm also a very quick person, so I just thought like if he's in there, mm -hmm. we could just try to like capture him and interrogate him if he stumbles. And that would be just a different way instead of just following him to the room. Yeah, so yeah. It's like yeah. Plan we're hedging B. our bets a little bit. Yeah. True, but anyway. Okay, no, so you're just you're, you you collapse with the family that you never had, <laughs> um, and play dead. And the frozen, just the menu of frozen is playing over and over again. <laughs> yes, I know. Yes, it's the it's the same. <laughs> I didn't think about that before I laid down, and then I start hearing it. Like, oh god. <laughs> yes, it's the DVD menu. Something Dom knows very well. And, and then um, I start just. <laughs> Can you, go ahead. <laughs> <laughs> yes, you secretly love this song. <laughs> like, you know. Um, cool. It'll be a very the surreal moment, moment, I feel like. Kelsey, what, what is... Only 10 seconds of that song. Oh, cool. Yeah, right. I Everyone feel like I do seconds. stuff like this all the time. Over and over <laughs> and over Where's and Gidget over. Where's Gidget Station? We, we, have, we have 10 minutes, I think, before... Yes. Um, okay. Um, Gidget <coughs> will be stationed... We have the door see. still. Yeah, because we're hoping he comes in there. Um... I guess I'll, I'm not like super sneaky or anything like that. Like, I don't think I could necessarily hide anywhere. So, um, super sneaky. I don't know. I'll, I'll go. Do, do, do you and John want to continue the fiction of installing this uh, device? Because if you guys are in your coveralls and you look like you're putting something in, that might throw them off for a minute or two. Like just blatantly confuse him, but if he sees that there's already people in his house, he might not go to the hiding spot. You know what I mean? Yeah. Um, okay. Good. Good point. Um, you know what? I'm gonna actually. I'm just gonna run back out to the van, and I'm just gonna leave P and Pod in the house. Okay. To to kind of like that way, if he runs upstairs or whatever, there's something small that can go kind of inconspicuously so follow have... him. So two of us are in the van. Sure. Yeah. With. So like, I'm with uh, Moonbiter's body in the van. All right. Okay. Ketu's in, in the, the old family room here. If I just stay upstairs, then if he does come upstairs, then I can intercept him, you know, or at least observe him. You're in mm -hmm. the upstairs closet? Mm, hopefully good. that's not exactly where he goes, but I'm I am not, I searching I mean, it's a right two-story house, and there's only two of us still in here, so <coughs> I'm concerned about that. Even with P and Pod in there to, to spy on him? To spy on him is not going to help if he's a vicious man, but... Mm. Mm. Hopefully it wasn't bring your squatch to work day either. You're calling John yeah. Lithgow a vicious man. I don't know that. Oh, he was a vicious man though, wasn't he? Was yeah, he? Which Dexter, John Lithgow do we have? Right? Do we have the Dexter John Lithgow right. or the yeah. 90s sitcom dad John Lithgow? Right. Third Rock from the Sun? Right. Yeah. We'll see. I don't know. We'll find out when he gets home. Um, oh, shit. <laughs> This one's coming probably home just, soon, guys. Probably, okay, cool. So you head, out, you head out to the, to the van, then, right? Yes. You need little micro skimmers. Yeah. Uh, Moonbiner, what are you up to, kiddo? He's in the van. He's out there. So I'm, in, I'm, in the, I'm in the van. Uh, I'm in astral space doing astral overwatch, waiting for him to come home. Yeah, you're you're astral watch uh, in in the uh, in the uh, house. Body. No, in I'm, the van. I'm I'm actually in the van <laughs> because I'm also going to disable his vehicle if he tries to make a run for that. Got it. Where? where so so you're, but your astro. Your your meat body is in the van. 
Correct. And where is your astral body? My astral body is uh, hovering over the house and going back and forth along the road that goes from the gate to the house. Okay. I have something for you, but before we do that, um, John, what are you doing? Uh, I'm going to search that old closet. Okay, so first, John, <laughs> old closet. John yeah, give, me a, give me a perception check. What if... Uh, oh, go ahead. Sorry. <clears throat> Uh, biscuits. That was a five. <laughs> it it. Ah, six outside. Okay, here we go. <laughs> Come on, baby. We got this. This is going to work. This is the one. Uh, oh, I knew it. One? One. One? Well, okay. One? I'm going to use my sploosh here. All right. <laughs> All right. Thank you for the sploosh, Bard1971. Thank you. No Why more splooshes. You're a, good, you're a good person. We're out of splooshes. Okay. Uh -oh. right, here we go. Yay, two. Two. All right. There <laughs> we go. You got two hits. Okay. Two hits. Okay. So you go into... This closet, and you can tell pretty immediately this is not a regular closet. Uh -oh. mm. What? This is not a normal closet. Ho, ho, ho. Um, normal closets don't have big metal doors like this. Oh, okay. it's really weird. Um, you start tapping on the walls, uh, so you kind of go along here, and you go. Dit, dit, dit. Solid. God damn it. Was it something totally obvious or was it a goddamn closet? Yeah. <laughs> this is a closet. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. That's yeah. the case. So, yeah, it, you, 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 you tap it like, oh my god, there's no drywall here. This is just something solid. is solid behind something. here. Oh, I think we got some here, you guys. Wow. What did we find? Can I run back in from the van? <laughs> uh, no. <laughs> or do we need to be a getaway driver? I'm ready to get away. <laughs> Ketu, uh, I might need you up here if you're done playing doggy pile. <laughs> I'm not listening to anything. I'm going to keep thinking. <laughs> so, Nick, what, what do you do? Are, are, you, are you still going to um, do a, a perimeter check with your astral, uh, in, in your astral form, or are you going to go help out inside? No, I, I think I was already doing the astral check here. It would be pretty metagamey for me to suddenly rush inside. Oh, no, yeah, that's fine. Um, give me an, uh, what was your ascensing? It was eight? Uh, my sensing is yes, eight dice. Okay, um, uh, could you roll that for me? What sensing? Uh, a sensing. Um, uh, so yeah, roll roll eight dice for me. Okay. Eight dice. Eight dice. Ha! Did you do bad because you were seeing like Nickelback? <laughs> <laughs> two hits. Um, two hits is enough, Nick. Yeah. Huh. Mm. No, that's a glitchy. That's yeah. a glitch. Is that a glitch? If there's one, two, three. Right, it four. is half. That's half, Does right? it have to be what over half? That's half. half? Um, oh, I didn't see that one. I think it has to be over half, but let me just double check. Over half, you said? I think it's over half, but I'm not positive. That's I what think some, someone with the rule book is going to have to check that. I know, yeah, hold on. Some, some oh, sorry. Some help? Is that what you're saying? Yes. Over half. <laughs> More than likely. I'm not sure yet. Yeah, my charisma is too. Would you... I'll, hand, I'll handle the talking. They use the word glitch a lot. <laughs> <laughs> I'll just have heart attacks yeah. in front of people all the time. That's not charisma. <laughs> That's super charisma. He thought I was having a heart attack for real. <laughs> <laughs> He's so he totally mad about like a 14 it. year old. <laughs> oh <my God. laughs> Made him look like an idiot. Yeah, just check the third edition handbook real he quick. He thought he was going to see his it. first dead body. Okay, glitches. Uh, <laughs> okay, uh, if, more, if more than half the dice you roll show a one, then you've got problems. Okay, and sad. Baller. Luckily, that is not the case here, so we're good. Sorry. Nick! Sorry, guys, that was dark. It was just the, yes, the image we made with it, I imagined. I'm sorry. Hey, you this were, is a safe space. You both gave me you were parked. <laughs> safe space. You are parked in a cul-de-sac right <laughs> no, now. No, no. Uh, okay. So you're, you, you cruise down the street. Uh, you don't see anything. You're moving super fast because this is the speed of thought. Um, you cruise back up the street. There is a big astral signature on the street in the cul-de-sac. Just a big blob. You rolled two, uh, so you can't tell really what it is. It's sort of obscured and weird, but it is just sitting there about 20 feet away uh, from the van. So, so it's definitely associated with the uh, property we're at? Um, no, it is It is down the street from the property you're at. It, there's just this big blob like of um, magical energy um, just hanging out. on the cul-de-sac, just sort of hanging out there. Huh? Just a big... Okay. Can, I, can I 
I, can I get any sense of what it is? Um, you rolled a two on your ascensing. Um, so, oh, man. Um, which is not great. Uh, um, you can tell it, it, it looks like, um, it looks like something is being concealed. All right. Can I move in closer, um, and try and figure out what's being concealed? Uh, yeah, you can. Um, you get right. closer and, um, uh, yeah, it's, it's, it's definitely something or someone, uh, probably a, like a, a car or a van or something. Oh, okay. So, so something like the size of a van, uh, is being concealed up the block from where we are? Correct. Pizza's here. <laughs> All right, let's flip over to you, Jesse. Hold on. We'll hold that thought. No worries. Okay. Uh, so, uh, so yeah, Jesse has communicated to you that there that there is a uh, that he think he's he thought he found something. What do you say? Okay. Uh, found found something like what? Uh, it appears to be a fake wall, or or at least like a like a hard wall, metal wall. There's no drywall here. It's in the closet. Can can uh, can gadget open it? Gadget, can you open a closet? No wait, hold on. <laughs> no, you're you're that's, in, that's for Ketu. You're inside the closet. The closet's open. Oh yeah, yeah. It's but... just all concrete on the inside. Oh, it's all concrete. Or um, some sort of hard material. You can't really tell. You so assume I, it's concrete. I uh, can I search for the for any mechanisms or something. Uh, I'm definitely gonna call Ketu because she's better at this. I mean, I I have Todd or could, he or one of them with you. Say that again, Nick. Possibly. So it's just like this wall, like this is drywall, drywall, this wall right here is concrete? Yeah. Okay. Just or metal or something. It's it's just, just one wall. Uh, no, no, the whole, uh, the the whole, whole thing. Oh, everything's okay. all four. And there's yeah. a big metal door right here. Okay. Uh, maybe it's a, like a safe room. Do you, uh, you want Pod to take a look? Do a little scan Fine. with Pod? Come, come run it! Nick, wh wh what are you going to do? Are, are you going to continue to investigate this magical blob out there, or are you going to come inside and help? Um, I am concerned that I think you're now... I think finding out what the blob is is kind of important. Okay. So will, will, I, will I be able to um, find out where it is in meat space? Um... Uh, can, can, I, can, I, can, I, can I translate where I found it in astral space to meat space? Yeah, yeah, it's just down the street. Okay. It's in the um, cul de sac, you're pretty sure. Periscope. Can you, what are you doing <laughs> looking up recipes with Grabsby? Mm -hmm. You know, yeah, the best you can't ways to use leftovers. How, how about this? How about this? Um, what yeah. I would like to do is astral, um, oh, man, summon a watcher. Okay. Um, a watcher will only take me a couple of minutes to uh, summon. It's a uh, specific spirit um, that will have my mental traits, but has no physical body or form. And then I'd like to assign that to watch the uh, astral space where that where that thing is. All right. Cool. Cool. All right. Um, I don't know. I don't know exactly where the rules are for it, but I want to say about page 142. Okay. It's fairly specific. <laughs> <laughs> if I had to guess, I would say 142. No, no, it's, it's, Halfway no, down the page, like, paragraph like three, line 12. Now, now that I'm thinking about it, yeah. but it's, um, it's definitely in the magic section. Yep, I see it here. Um, so they're like spirits, but are actually entities born from a ritual leader's own mind rather than the meta planes. Uh, so this is, is this is summoned like a spirit then? I believe that it is a, um, I believe that it is a, a ritual summoning, but it, but it just creates something that is um, like a psychic impression of uh, my own mental capabilities. Okay. I heard coffee. Uh, how is it, how is it brought about? Um, I believe it's through summoning, but um, I think the rules are right there in the, in the ritual magic. <laughs> Okay. Um, it's getting intercepted. <laughs> Thank you, Donald. The snack that smiles Ooh. back. Yeah, which is really disturbing. Yeah. 
Okay, uh, hold on. Okay, so, uh, oh my, uh, the, the, the creature of mana woven with personalities. The watcher can speak any language. It can speak. Watcher's bound only to the leader of the ritual. Okay, uh, so this is, it's, it's a minion, and how do you summon a minion then? Okay, well, why don't, why don't I have you, you have, you have your rules with you there, Nick? Um, I think I might have a copy of the rules. I'll look it up real quick. Um, so go ahead and handle it right now. Yeah, look up look up what, what what we need to do with that ritual, um, and uh, and we'll, we'll handle the uh, closet right now. Because we're in the closet. <laughs> yeah. Oh, what's going on here? What? Nothing. Okay. <laughs> Everything is under control. <laughs> okay. All right. So we're in the closet, um, uh, and you have you have brought your drone up to take a look. Michaela, what what is uh, Ketu doing? I was oh, going. Oh, he's still playing dead. <laughs> no, because he already called me, so yeah. I, I I came up. You gotta, you gotta I'm go. gonna I'm gonna head down too. I'm just gonna swap these spots because they might wake up at any moment. Is it dangerous to <laughs> gas someone twice in a Double row? Double gas. <laughs> How dangerous? <laughs> like because they're gonna scream as soon as they if if up. if they are, they're gonna they're gonna come to. Um, mechanically, what's happening is they're going to if they do come to, if they manage to heal their stun. Um, they're going to have a couple of blocks of stun. If you hit them with the gas again, um, there's no way to give them only a little bit of the gas. To uh, and and like like, the gas is the gas, so it's going to do 15, 15 blocks of stun damage. Oh, that's a lot. Um, technically, um, <laughs> what did I do? Did I do something wrong? You're fine. Okay. Um, Just uh, a little bit. <laughs> technically, uh, when you do more stun damage then they have blocks. Yes. That carries over into physical damage. Right. Uh, I've sort of let that one slide here. Um, but if you gas them when, they're, when they only have one or two, uh, one or two hits of stun, it's going to do some permanent damage. Brain well. damage. So, Let's yeah. not do that. Mm -hmm. I mean, do what you want. Sorry. Um, <laughs> I, I, I'm not your boss. I do wonder if like Squatch Cave is like soundproof. How normal are Sasquatches? Is that like a totally weird thing in Shadowrun world? What yeah. if you put them down there? Because like, we didn't harm them. So if Sasquatch harms them, hey, that's they said he's oh, he really said they were nice. friendly. He that said he's that really he nice. said, "Oh, he's real. He's a sweet Skin little squatch." down there. Somebody's never and seen Harry and Henderson. Some kind very, of animal. Very defensive of him, for no reason. We had no. We didn't. You know. Go ahead. Sorry. <laughs> squatch. I think I, I'm fairly certain that I think they would be safe down there. I just, I just want to point out. Apparently, Katu has trust issues. Okay. <laughs> That's starting you to know, become a little bit more. I'm apparent. gonna just roll up my sleeves and start <laughs> carting some people bit. to Squatch Land, as long as they don't seem like they're gonna wake up. Okay. All right. Yeah, I'm gonna tag you on the stairs, like, oh, tag you're it. Ding. All right. Uh, <laughs> are you gonna hang up down there with them then, or? No, no. Once I get them in there, I'm going to. <sighs> can, is there any mechanism to open it from underneath? Um. Can they get out? Probably. Uh, <laughs> like they, they're, they're, there, some are food. <laughs> there are. Roll some chips down the stairs. <laughs> there you go, guys. Why are we gonna do with these? There is a fingerprint <laughs> scanner uh, on both sides of the door and also on the hatch leading outside. Uh, there's a fingerprint scanner. Um, so it looks like the hatch opens out. So if they come to, they could probably. Um, get out the hatch. Is there any, can Grabsy like, does he know like how many s inputs that that thing accepts? Like does it only take one thumbprint or can he, he there's no way for him to like hack that or tell or anything? Not really, it's, okay. it's a wire connection. Oh right. That's he'd, right. Have to, he'd have to decrypt it and you have to use a data tap, which I think he has, but um, that's kind of a long procedure. And he'd have to get out of the truck and he's very comfortable in there. Just Once he gets settled he's in. He's keeping an eye he's on He's making things. a real nice interest board on recipes. Right. He is, right. he's, you know. I already drew the curtains, so, right? Lady. So they, nobody can see in, right? Uh, yeah, well, it's it's mirrored, so you can't see inside oh, anyway. Okay. Cool. Uh, you know, I'm just gonna I'm just gonna start doing that. Okay. Taking them down. Well, I'll decide whether I'm gonna seal it when I get finished. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> You're gonna For dump, now. dump them in the squatch. Uh, dump them in the squatch uh, uh, nest. Tell him grabs you to be extra careful, paying attention outside, so that he doesn't just walk in on me and I'm dragging like a kid across the carpet. <laughs> right. All right. Because that looks good. So this will be our little squatch nest then. <laughs> and here's the kid. And right. I am now upstairs. Stacking them like cordwood. Yep. <laughs> um, got to be efficient with our space. Got it. <laughs> and you are upstairs. 
here. With, um, <laughs> Sorry, you. <laughs> I'm like, why did she put it down? <laughs> oh, you're motioning to me. And, and you sent up, you sent up a drone uh, yeah, to help yeah. out with things. Okay, yeah. cool. So, uh, Michaela, give me a perception check then. No. Just eight. Just eight. Uh, well, actually, here, uh, Ma Michaela, since, since, you, since your drone is helping out, uh, give a give a helping roll. Okay. See how many hits you can add. Roll to uh, roll my five yes. perception mm -hmm. dice. Yes. It's gonna be good for searching. <laughs> gonna be good. Like an entire house. Will you hand me five dice? Oh yeah. Please. Oh. Sure. Yeah, maybe. <laughs> I'll try. Oh, <laughs> oh. Fumbles McGee okay. over here. We're gonna right. we're gonna get this. Five full here we dice. Go. Boots. Whoa! Okay, Holy so shit. three, okay. Uh, three extra dice. Three extra for dice you. for Michaela. So add Fantastic. those to your yeah. roll oh, here. Thank you. Okay. It's not just that I'm short; it's that like your cord. Your but cord. Yeah. 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 Tethered. Umbilically challenged. <laughs> One, yeah. two, four. three, four. Four. Okay. Perfect. Um, yeah, this is this is a really poorly concealed safe. Um, so uh, <laughs> we probably could have found forty minutes ago. You know, last I mean, time. maybe, but <laughs> I'm not gonna say <laughs> what you guys should do. Maybe it's in the Sasquatch layer again. You should check down there. No, I'm kidding. Uh, so there's <laughs> there is a completely out of place painting that just kind of uh, uh, pivots open, and there is a safe. It was a painting. Damn painting. There's a painting in, in the closet. In the closet. Like, this is really just amateur hour. Nobody hangs out in the. Closet. Unbelievable. Like you're starting to feel good oh, that you're robbing this guy. <laughs> so, um Yeah, no guilt here. So yeah. Um <laughs> it's, it's just uh you know, it's 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 a uh, it's it's a metal safe. It's got a little um it's got a little pad, much like the pad that you saw downstairs. Uh, mm -hmm. just just a just a little um um just a little thing. So finger for fingerprint? Mm-hmm. Yep. Still easy got it. Again. Yeah, I would just try it first okay. because why you not see already that? have it. <laughs> Okay, you push it on there, and green light turns on. But there's two lights. Uh, Need another fingerprint. Um, I'm gonna assume maybe they have to do this together, oddly enough. You take your finger off, the green light goes, turns off. Are there two, there's two pads? Hmm? There's two thumb pads? Uh, no, it's just one. Okay, a puzzle is afoot. <laughs> 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 maybe not so much after all. Maybe another fingerprint. So uh, I assume. Do you have a hardware? I have hardware. Is it like a large thumb? Is it like a large pad or mm -mm. it's the thumb size? Just, it's, it's like basically the same model uh, as the one you have downstairs. Where I would I be do you think they're connected? Do you think one has to be downstairs and one has to be up Of the same guy? I don't know. <coughs> What, what, what um, do you have really anything long. like uh, yeah. security <laughs> go, go or some, something, arms. Yeah. some skill that would help you out Post to skill? kind of understand how ah. the safe works? Okay. Um. That knowledge skill, perhaps. Um, well. Could I project into my robot and help in any way? Would that do anything? Yeah, I don't have... Possibly. Yeah. What would you do with that? Um, let me Talk look. some sense into it. Um. <laughs> well, I meant it. It would be really cute if she started talking Just to Just have the robot, robot be like, believing us <laughs> You yes. can do this. <laughs> exactly. I think you can open the safe. <laughs> um, You're I the don't best. Know. You are so pretty. Data processing? Um, <laughs> email. Clear sight? I don't know. Uh, well, Sensor? I don't know. I mean, you can go up there in your meat form and actually try to help her out. Do I have time? I mean, that's not going to take that long? Yeah, to just run up there? Yeah, my, okay. so, so yeah. just my okay. knowledge skills can... Uh, only if she calls me, though. He. Yeah. Architecture. Hey, I, I haven't screwed up once tonight. Religion. Yeah. I'm very proud of myself. <laughs> Hey, Gadget! Hmm? You gonna get your uh, help in here? Ah, where are you? In the closet upstairs in the master bedroom. All right. That's not how we say in a closet. I don't sing. <laughs> Katu doesn't sing. I don't sing. Don't ask me. 
Okay, cool. So you are up there. You see the safe. Give me a hardware check. Hardware check? Hardware! Hardware, you say? I know hardware! <laughs> <laughs> Let me get this gizmo and the gadget, <laughs> yeah? <laughs> I'm really happy I just witnessed that. It's <laughs> clear! Um, no. Mm. Edge. Edge! <laughs> okay, make sure you write that down, though. I will. Okay. Hold on. Let me get my. Burning your edge, are you? Edge. Burn it! All right. is, is this max it edge, burns. or is that like starting? Uh, edge? That is, uh, max is six. That's your starting edge. Okay, cool. Okay. How about two? Two. Two's good enough. What's two do? There's huh? a microphone here. To do? <laughs> oh, hey, there's a microphone here. <laughs> I want to hang out with her. There's a microphone on, on, on the safe. <laughs> Uh, Needs a thumb and voice. I'm gonna. And the Brad, need thumb and voice? We gotta do something. <gasps> um, hey. I'm gonna start looking up videos of this guy. Hey, it's Grabsy, when you uh, when yeah. you scramble. Grabsy that, here! <laughs> <laughs> there I'm, you I've been here this whole time. Yeah. Um, I've I, been I, listening in on the conversation. Grabsy, yeah. can you just be quiet for a minute, all right? Okay. You, you're always talking. <laughs> I'm sorry. I, just, uh, trying, just trying to be helpful. I know. I we all love we you. We love it's you, fine. buddy. I'll stop. I'll stop. I'll stop. Um, oh, hey. hey, Grabsy. When uh, when you were scrambling those calls earlier and the dad's voicemail popped up, did you save that voice profile? Uh, voice profile? Yeah, of the dad. Uh, not not really. Okay. Can you hack into his voicemail? And I need you to grab a voice. I need you to create a fake voice profile of his dad. Uh. Snap! Come on! Come on! Come on! Come on! Come on! <laughs> I, 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 that's that's not a thing. It is a thing. <laughs> it is a thing, Grabsy. I can I can. If I can dream it, you can do it. I can I can create him saying certain words, yeah, but that's he what has it. to say the actual words, and I don't know what the words are. What do we think the word is? Open sesame. <laughs> Carry the Sasquatch. That is or pretty amateur. It might just be <laughs> his name. I would assume just his name. What corporation? Cyril Figgis. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, did you say Cyril Faggis? <laughs> Cyril Figgis. Speak, friend, and in Um, Is there any way for me to know that with my hardware check? I mean, I don't know if there would be a way uh, to know that. Not I mean, just just looking at the safe. No. No, not really. No. I mean, unless he's like written it down somewhere, like it's in one of his chips, or he has like a password uh, thing. But please can we don't not tell override me this, this in any way. <laughs> <laughs> it's gonna take some time. That's a right. lot of porn. It's no. double dutch. Try double dutch. <laughs> oh no. Oh my god. Um. Okay, so it is six o'clock. <laughs> Six o'clock. Nick, what are you doing, my man? All right, so I'm going to try and um, summon a watcher. Uh, what it's going to be is it boils down to a test of uh, ten dice that needs three uh, successes. Okay. Um, and if so, then it will last for um, successes times three. Okay. Oh, the goldfish? Uh, success is time three uh, hours? Uh, hours. Or, okay. Yeah. Success is times three hours, <laughs> and it will have. Um, oh my. <laughs> it will have my. It'll have uh, mental abilities at a uh, uh, one. Because hmm? it's, it's force minus two, so they'll, they'll be at a one. Okay. And then it'll have um, uh, skills at uh, force level. That's great. Okay. Uh, oh, I'm sorry. Skill, skills at, at uh, level two. Okay. So yeah, what what force is it then? Is is there a force associated with it? Yeah, it's uh, force three. Force three. Uh, force three guy. Okay. Cool. So uh, ten dice, and you have to hit. You have to get three hits in order to summon this bad boy, right? Correct. Okay. Cool. So uh, let's have you roll that then. How uh, many? Uh, how many dice? Should I twelve? Ten. Uh, ten dice. Ten dice. Ten a dice. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Ten dice. Ten dice. Waiting to be rolled. <laughs> How many successes? Two. Uh, three. Uh, three. One. Three. Half, three. Half of one. Three. Oh. Three. Okay. Mm -hmm. Sixteen. Mm -hmm. Ooh. Uh oh. Oh, two. 
Oh boy. Do you have a do you have a sploosh? I am out of splooshes and edge. Oh boy. Wait, but who are we rolling for? We're rolling for Nick. Yeah, we're rolling for Nick. Do you have a no, no do you have a sploosh we got or two a hits, hit Nick. or anything? Where the I can't see all the Um I'm no I'm I'm tapped. I spent my uh, I spent my hit the hit and my sploosh earlier. Can I donate a sploosh? Yeah, if you got a sploosh, you I can have donate one it. left. Okay. Make this sploosh count. Nick, you can also right. burn uh, a point of edge. <laughs> Good call. Um, Splodoosh! Oh. Yeah. Mm, fail! Okay. I'm sorry. That <laughs> didn't make me feel better. There <laughs> are. Now, you don't just have. You know, edge just doesn't always just mean a reroll. Wow. Um, Dang it! Uh, oh, I, can, I, can, I, can, I can burn my edge to go ahead and reroll that. I blame now. you. Let's see. Uh, That's so terrible. I just feel like, a, like I lost it. I did this. You can you can burn a point of edge to do what's called a smackdown, oh. which means you automatically <laughs> oh. you automatically succeed a test with four net hits. What? Um, but that's that awesome. that burns a point of edge to do that. Is that something you would want to do? Guys, I know Jenny. Um, I think it's important enough at this point that yeah, I'll burn my I'll burn my one point of edge to do that. Okay, cool. So. A watcher winks into existence. Wink. Ooh. And it looks like this guy. Ooh. Ew. That guy. <laughs> okay. So I, I'm going to um, give the watcher commands to keep an eye <laughs> I'm on here to me. serve you. <laughs> yeah. Excellent. All right. Uh, Command me to do here? something. <laughs> yes. Keep, keep an eye on this, uh, on this uh, warded invisible area. Let me know if that drops, um, if it changes, or if it moves uh, into position towards us. Your wish is my command. Thank you. And, and nice move back. back to me if anything changes. This is sexy. Your wish <laughs> right. is my command. All right. I'll trust him. All right. And then once, once <laughs> I set the watcher oh, on that task, I will head inside. And then um, you need to roll me a drain check, I believe. Oh yes, tell me tell me how to do that. What, what, what's uh, summoning uh, drain? Um, well, it's off of ritual drain, so let me oh. check that real quick. Ritual drain. See if it has anything else different. Um, do seal the ritual spell casting. Anti spell effect goes off. Each participant also takes drain. Um, oh yikes! Okay. <laughs> also, give me your soul. <laughs> yeah. I thirst. Off, we only, you only need one small little girl, right? Twice the number of hits, which was four. Okay. Uh, on the defense mm. side, if the number of hits the leader got on the team was tested higher than your magic rating, this drain is physical, otherwise it is stun. Um, so it's stun damage, but it looks like I take eight drain uh and then my resistance is uh go back that's hard to be a shaman yeah man <laughs> shaman life <laughs> yeah yeah um so eight drain and it is resisted for me at um i have 10 so i have 10 dice to resist uh eight drain so as much as we can possibly get out of there would be great. Okay. Every one of those that we don't get translates into stun damage? Yeah. Eight, you said? Exactly. Or ten to get eight? Ten yeah. to get eight. <clears throat> I can definitely do that. As much as you can. As, you know, reduce as much as you can. All right. I got you, buddy. All right. We got this. Put your life in my hands. I believe. My capable robotic <laughs> hands. All right. <laughs> oh. Michaela blessed you with a hiccup. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Oh, that's not good. <laughs> oh, Nikki Poo. There's Only lots of fours. They're all really close. Two? <laughs> Two. Two. Two? Okay, so I guess I take six stun. Bzzz. It's just going to put me square, squarely into the negative two territory. Whoa. All right. Oh, no. So, uh, Dom, did, could you update that? Mm -hmm. oh, okay, no. so he is down to four uh, in his stun boxes left. Oh, he... No, I, mean, I have five. 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 Okay, yeah, yeah, because he has 11. That's right. Okay. Um, okay, so that that was a taxing, Oof. that was a taxing summoning. 
That's serious business no, what you just did here. So, so quick question. Does that mean all of my dice pools are at minus two? Yes. Oh, oh boy. Oof. Until, uh, unless you can heal yourself. Uh, I can't heal any stun damage. That has to be all natural. All right. I can heal physical, but not stun. Uh, mm -hmm. If you wait around for an hour, you get... Um, uh, willpower plus body. Uh, you roll that, and then you heal that amount of uh, uh, that amount of stun. So. All right. Cool. Yep. I have a question. Yeah. Do you guys do a lot of? Uh, okay. No, I didn't mean go fish. Thank you. I'm, I'm eating. Oh, I thought you were just going, <laughs> huh? Um, like so have special. I'm, I'm also I'm I'm like uh, I'm going dark mm -hmm. for about a minute, so I can use the restroom. I'll be right back. Okay. okay. Bye. Nick's going dark. That helps. Yeah. Passed out for just a like second. My <coughs> yes, I have fun. someone so I don't know them personally, I just want them to, to, to come here. I have a really big crush on someone that I want <laughs> to be part of one of the games. <laughs> Me too, but I don't, I don't think I can get her. <laughs> Who is yeah. it? Oh, oh, Michelle Obama. That's a good one. She's so busy. Never heard to ask. We'd have to stop eating junk food. Mm. That's not <laughs> a good one. Yeah. Um, just celery sticks. Mine's a... Uh, it, so this person, is he watching right now? I have no idea. No, he doesn't okay. know I exist. Uh, oh. One of those. <laughs> like, not at all. Oh, matchmaker, it, matchmaker. Mm. Right? I hated math class. Never paid attention. No. Uh, Does he pull your <laughs> ponytail? I don't have one. No. Uh, <laughs> you gotta grow a ponytail. That's, no, how, you get, that's how you get the fellas. You grow the ponytail well, no, so that they can pull it. Mm. Um, I don't know. It's <laughs> no, it's, it's because you I don't know why. Every time we start, we talk about Loot Crate, and he did a commercial for Loot Crate. It's Sam Whitwer, if you guys mm. don't know Sam that. Sam Whitwer. Is. Oh, yeah. Sam Whitwer, eh? Do you know him? Do you? He's sitting in the seat right next to you. Oh, fuck off. Yeah. <laughs> you know what he smells like? <laughs> Old leather and spice. That sounds great. Yeah. <laughs> okay, he was, like, into it. With well, he does. He's kind of dusty. We'll talk later about Sam Whitwer. <laughs> yeah. Fine. Uh-oh. But could you adjust your microphone? Okay. Oh, yeah. So right. that did not actually pick up, then? Okay. Oh. Yeah. Right please, now he's like, I please don't I tweet something. Sam yeah. Sam Whitworth uh, to let him know. <laughs> please don't tweet Sam G Sam Pitberth. Yeah. Uh, Pitberth. It's Pitberth. never gonna happen, guys. Um, it's okay. So here's the situation, mm -hmm. as we know it. Yep. There is a magical blob out in the cul-de-sac. Uh huh. There is a <laughs> safe uh, that you found um, that you were missing one component of. Yeah. Your beard. Grabsy <laughs> is unable to work his magic because. Uh, it's a ridiculous question useless. to ask. Because he's useless. But his Pinterest boards are real nice. Uh, you can just start uh, uh, start speaking infinity amount of words, and eventually you'll probably hit something. Right. Like. Oh, jeez. Um, so that's how professional hackers do it, right? So that's what you got. Um,